What's up guys, it's Robert and you're watching Gent Style. Today here I have a pair of Allen Edmonds. They're a little bit dusty and worn and I'm going to do a little bit of shining today and possibly try to achieve a mirror shine on these pair of very inexpensive Allen Edmonds. So the first thing that I like to do is I'll take some of my Saphir. This is actually, this is a cream polish. This is one of my favorite things to do is to just rub the cream polish on there. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna do one shoe just to save some time. But first, actually, before you put that on there, you wanna dust the shoe off. That's super important because there is a lot of excess dust that's on there. Usually you wanna use a darker bristled brush, but I really don't care. I just wanna make sure that I'm you know, getting these nice and dusted off. Um, some people like to remove their shoe strings, so I'm gonna do that as well. So just kind of clean the shoe off, make sure the dust is removed. As you can see, there's a great amount of debris coming from the shoe already. So once you get those ready, then you're ready to apply your cream polish. Don't use a whole bunch of this. You just want to use just a little bit on the tip and throughout the rest of the body of the shoe. Once you get cream polish covered on the shoe, you just want to let it sit in for about a minute or so just to soak in and absorb inside of the leather. So once the shoes have sat for just a little bit, you want to go ahead and start kind of buffing off the cream polish on the shoe. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you kind of a entry level shine, something that is wearable if you really wanted to. I prefer to have just a little bit more uh, of a shine, and so that's what I'm gonna do with the mirror shine. If you see this little black stuff on your shoe, don't really be too worried about that because it's not that big of a deal. It's just the cream polish and the shoe. Just off of shining it just a little bit, it's already got a little bit of a shine to it. The next step really for me is just to start working on this mirror shine in the front. And the first thing that I like to do is just apply a little bit of my wax polish, and this is just basically some kiwi. This is what I use first. Then I move on to the Saphir, which is the good stuff. So when you're shining your shoe, you just want to apply little thin layers of the, uh, the wax. You don't want to oversaturate with the wax. You don't want to overdo it because overdoing it is going to make it harder to buff this off. So literally just use some light coats and then you can start working on it. Uh, I usually switch between different towels to kind of buff it off and I spray just a little bit of water on there to really start to make it shine. The thing to remember with a mirror shine is that it takes time to develop a really good one. So once you get started, you know, expect to sit down anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to really get the shine to start to come through the way you want it. Uh, that's what I have to do. Sometimes I can achieve one just a little bit quicker, but it does take time in most scenarios. And really it can be done with, I think, any polish. I don't use uh, a really expensive polish. This uh, Saphir stuff is good. And then also the Kiwi just for the base. I usually put the Kiwi on first just to have a, a little light layer and then I use the Saphir to kind of uh, wrap it up. My Saphir is old. Uh, it is a little bit older. I've been using this for a while. I usually like to just take my finger and apply the really the lightest coat I possibly can with the Saphir, the mirror gloss. Uh, this is really what kind of puts the icing on the cake. And then I like to buff it off with the cloth and just a little bit of water. Thank you. 
So you start noticing that you're having a little bit more success when you can kind of start to see yourself in the shoe. At this point, it's really just a game of continuing and trying a little bit more to really get that shine. Remember to always use light coats. Light coats are what's gonna be uh, what gets you the best results. So guys, this is just a little bit of a basic mirror shine, something uh, simple. As you could see, it could use a little bit more work. It's not going to be the very best your first time doing it, or even like me, your fourth or fifth time doing it. I've done some shoes before where actually the shine, uh, what's a good example of one? So this one is one that I did a couple of weeks ago, and it's kind of getting dull again, but it turned out a little bit better than what we did here today. It really just takes time and patience to kind of get that better shine. So don't beat yourself up if your first mirror shine doesn't look really good. I've been working on trying to perfect my mirror shine over time and I've been gotten a little bit better, but it still needs a little bit of work as you can see. And so just, this is a numbers game. It literally just, the amount of time that you spend is gonna determine uh, how good the mirror shine turns out. So don't give up just after the first sit down. You wanna try to you know keep working on these and keep improving mixing a little bit of water here and there uh, and just kind of perfecting your shine. If we take a look at both of the shoes together, this is the shoe that I did, this is the shoe that I didn't do. As you can see, there is a slight difference. This one is a little bit more dusty and drier looking. This one is a little bit more clean. As I mentioned, the mirror shine could use a little bit of extra work, but hey, it is what it is. I'm still perfecting my ability to do mirror shines, but this is definitely a heck of a lot better than wearing a shoe that has dust and cracks and is uh, a little bit more drier and worn out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And with that being said, I'm Robert, this is Gent Style, and I will see you in the next video.